it's your brother Alan Ray welcoming you to the Really Really Knowing God channel as I lead this fellowship of information and inspiration in the knowledge of God. So powered by the Pastor Alan Ray Daniel Center for Age Inspiration in the place. <music> This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are sharing truth uh, this morning on these are the elevation times. And that's coming from uh, Job chapter 22. Shall we have a word of prayer? Hallelujah. Father God, we bless your name and give you glory and praise. Lord, as we go on to share together this morning, we ask your help, God, as always, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and trust that you will just do as you have always ever done. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name we ask it. Hallelujah. Okay, Job 22, I would just want to go straight to the 21st chapter of this of Job 22. Now it says, Now acquaint yourself with him, that's with the Lord, and be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. Now acquaint yourself with him and be at peace. In other words, befriend the Lord. Get used to the Lord. Get accustomed to the Lord. And that's what this channel is all about, actually. Getting to know the Lord. Befriending the Lord. You know, we even talk about parents and teenagers. We say, look, befriend your teenager. You know, when you are friends with your, with your children, um, um, a lot of ease comes. You know, we say that all the time. Yeah, the same thing with God. When you, you get acquainted with it says, acquaint yourself with the Lord and be at peace. You are going to have peace. You are going to have... Um, contentment you're going to have joy you're going to have uh, wisdom you know you know how people say that anybody that fellowships with the elders is going to have a wisdom beyond that of his age yeah god is an elder praise the lord so you are going to be at peace you're going to have i mean wisdom beyond that of your age uh, by the grace of god <clears throat> hallelujah and then he says there thereby good will come to you that is the way good will come to you when you acquaint yourself with him when you get to know him Hallelujah. Those that know their God shall be strong and he shall perform exploit. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, you see, um, it, it, it good will come to you on account of that. We have just said you are going to be wiser in the affairs of life. You are going to uh, be wiser than people of your, of your age and all that. And the wisdom you are going to operate in would be beyond you. Be the wisdom of God will be your portion because you are working with elders. And God is an elder, you know, so you are going to enjoy that. So, that's it. Uh, 20, the 20 first verse of uh, uh, Job 22. Let's go to another one. Um... It will say that, okay, you receive instruction from it madly, up his words in your heart. That's okay. So that's enough. Another one, if you return to the Almighty, you will be built up. I like that. If you return to the Almighty, you will be built up. That is talking about maybe somebody who had backsliding, who has deteriorated from one reason or the other, who has um, gone a bit wayward for whatever reason, who has um, not quite been impressive in his work with the Lord in recent times, if you return to the Lord, hallelujah. I like this particularly because of the story of the prodigal son in the New Testament. It gives us an insight into who God is. Remember that story of the prodigal son. The Bible says when he was yet a way, a long way off, he was afar off, his father recognized him. Now, remember that he was not returning the way he went. He went in, in, in a beautiful um, um, outfit, you know, some beautiful, cute-looking designer suit. That's the way he went. But on his way back, he wasn't in that kind of outfit at all. He was in the outfit that, of people who were taking care, tending pigs, you know. And I can imagine he was, he was dis disheveled. He hadn't shaved in quite a long time and all that. But he was just trudging back home. Somehow, the father recognized him. Why? Because he had been waiting for this moment. Hallelujah. Now, that's the way God is. He says, when you return to the Lord, he will build you up. Huh? I like that. And I want to challenge and encourage somebody today. In spite of how low you think things are, when you return to the Lord, he will build you up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will build you up. He will help you to reconstruct everything altogether. And uh, from the ruins, you know, of whatever, wherever you may be at this point in time, the Lord will give you a brand new life. Your story will change in the name of the Lord Jesus. Okay, then? And um, now listen to this. You will remove, I'm, I'm continuing reading, you will remove iniquity uh, far from your tents. Verse 24. Then you will lay your gold in the dust, and the gold of, of, of here 
among the stones of the brook. Yes, the Almighty will be your gold and your precious silver. Then you will have the light in the Almighty and you will lift up your face to God. You will make your prayer to him, he will hear you. You pay your vows, you will declare or decree a thing and it shall be established unto you so the light will shine upon your ways. I want to look at that whole thing. Now, when you return to God, we have spent a, quite a bit of um, effort on that one. He says, you will lay your gold in the dust. In other words, what is precious to you? What the, the values you have money to go and um, uh, um, adopt over time, okay, will no longer matter to you, you drop them. That's why it says, you will lay your gold in the dust. And the very gold that's up here, you, you would lay it among the stones in the brook. The, these values, these things that have mattered to you over time that are not really um, in line with what God wants, you would drop them. You would, you would lay. Now listen to this. It says, when you have done that, yes, the Almighty will become your gold and your precious silver. Hallelujah. In other words, the, you, as you drop those things, your portion will not be the Lord. Can you remember the song, The Lord is My Portion? Yeah, that we, also, that we used to sing. Yeah, it says, The Lord will now become your gold. The Lord will now become your precious silver. All those other things that matter to you before, you have dropped them upon the sand because you, you return to the Lord. All the things that matter to you, all the things at times on people is not just money, at times it's titles, at times it's, uh, it's position, at times it's this and that. You know, all those things, you drop them in the dust. That's what it says. The Almighty shall now become your gold. Your Almighty shall now become your title. The Almighty shall now become uh, the money that, that you care so much about. The position, the public honor, the image. God himself will now become the... That's what it says. The Almighty will become your gold and your precious silver. Amen. Because you are going to have your delight in the Almighty and you will lift up your face to God. You will make your prayer to him. He will hear you. You will decree you would uh, pay your verse now can you see something the very popular verse we all quote where it says you will decree a thing and it will be established unto you so the light will shine uh, upon your ways all these things are preconditions to those things but we never quote them <laughs> praise god we never you know quote those ones we are always just you know singling out that 28 the creating shall be established unto you and the light will shine upon your way. But all the things you said about laying your gold in the dust and the Almighty becoming your gold, we don't quote all those ones. Mere whereas they are preconditions to this very popular uh, verse of scripture. May we uh, study the scriptures and study, you know, and be able to live accordingly. Then a lot of the things we expect to happen that do not happen, they will begin to happen. When you put in the preconditions, this other one will happen in Jesus' mighty name. Let's go on. And uh, when uh, people are say everything is down, you will say exaltation will come or exaltation is here. Hallelujah. You know that thing, we, we, we often quote this thing, when, when, when men are cast down, then you say there's a lifting up. That's it in King James. Okay. And just using the language here, when things are down, Things making people to be to be uh, downcast. Things making people to to be uh, to be unhappy. Things making people's head to droop, and all those things. When all those things are happening, you shall say. These are the times of exaltation. Hallelujah. And that's what I'm saying to somebody this, this morning. We are in a situation where there is darkness upon the land and gross darkness upon the people. Where there is confusion, uh, vexation of spirit, perplexity of the nation. Where there is a lot of complaints, you know, going on and going on and going on. It says in the midst of all of that, say with your mouth, the time of exaltation is there. And I'm saying that this morning along with the scriptures and I trust that it's going to apply to somebody who believes what I'm saying and is saying the same thing concerning this situation. In the midst of all of this, the time of exaltation is here. The time of profiting is here. The time of doing exceedingly well is here. In spite of all I see, in spite of all I hear, I choose to say what God asked me to say. When people are being cast down, I will make a pronouncement. The time of being lifted up is here. The time of exaltation is there. So I prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so shall it be with whoever will believe my word today in Jesus' holy name. Thank you so very much. I've appreciated this time together. And I trust that it's going to be of great blessing to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wonderful day.